children in this video we will learn to subtract zero one day gaffy was going for a walk with her friends on the way she saw many fruit trees then sunny pointed and said that gaffy can you count and tell me how many mangoes are on this tree yes sunny there are 45 mangoes on this tree let us pluck them Sunny tried but could not pluck mangoes. Children, can you tell how many mangoes are on the tree now? Perfect answer, children. There are still 45 mangoes on the tree because Sunny could not pluck a single mango. That is, Sunny plucked zero mangoes. When we subtract zero from a number, the answer is the same as the number subtracted. 50 minus 0 is equal to 50. Come on, now let's write it down and understand. There were 45 mangoes on the tree. Sunny plucked 0 mangoes. That is, we will subtract 0 from 45. 0 means nothing. And when we do not subtract anything, the answer is equal to the number from which we subtracted 0. That is 45. 45 Minus zero is equal to forty-five. Let us look another example of this. Can you tell me if there are thirty-seven ladoos in a shop, and zero ladoos are taken by Ramu? So how many ladoos are there in the shop now? That's right, thirty-seven. As we have just seen, when we subtract zero from a number, the answer is the same as the number we subtracted from zero. That is, if zero is subtracted from thirty-seven, then the answer will be thirty-seven only. Children, now it's your turn to find the solution to this fun puzzle. Appu had forty-eight cakes. He ate zero cakes. How many cakes are left with Appu? Share your answer with your family and friends. In this video, we learned to subtract zero from any number up to fifty. 